Look, Liko, I have music, movies, photos, and lots of games saved on my computer. That's great, Renny. I wonder how the computer can store so many things. Well, Renny, data are stored in storage units in the computer. To store data, does a computer store things like the way we humans do? No, Renny. A computer can only understand machine language or binary language. This language is called low-level language. The low-level language uses the binary units of 0 and 1. The short form of binary digits is bits. Bits and bytes are the most common units of storage in a computer. Tell me more about bits and bytes. A bit is actually the short form of the binary digits 0 and 1. It is the smallest unit recognized by the computer. What does this two binary digits or bits do? All sorts of information like words, audio, video can stored as patterns of these two digits 0 and 1. The digits 0 and 1 are recorded as pulses of electricity on tiny electric circuits. If a circuit is carrying an electric pulse, it is 1 and if not, it is 0. Each input given to the computer has to be coded as a combination of pulses and non-pulses. What is the difference between bits and bytes? Bytes are bigger than bits. 8 bits make 1 byte. A byte is the smallest storage unit to store even a single character. It implies that 1 byte or 8 bits are required by a single character to store in memory. 1 kilobyte consists of 1024 bytes. So, 1 kilobyte contains 8192 bits. 1 megabyte is made up of 1024 kilobytes. 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabyte. Where are these bits found in the computer? The bits are in the electronic circuit which are stored in the chips. These chips are tiny pieces of semiconductor called silicon. Millions of circuits are assembled on each chip. Where are the chips in the computer? All the chips in a computer are mounted on boards called printed circuit boards or daughter board. These daughter boards are attached to a motherboard. Look, this is the motherboard in a computer. A motherboard is an electronic circuit board in a computer which interconnects hardware devices attached to it. It means one or more central processing units are attached to a motherboard. Let us now look at the memory of a computer. As you already know by now that the computer stores all the work done on it. All the information is stored in the computer memory is made up of chips. There are two kinds of memory, primary and secondary. Yes, I know, RAM and ROM are two kinds of primary memory of a computer. Correct, Renny. The primary memory is the part of the computer which stores data temporarily during execution. The computer's primary memory let us know about the amount of data that a computer can store in it. Since you already know that the primary memory is the RAM and ROM. Let me tell you more about them. The full form of RAM is Random Access Memory. 
RAM can store data and instructions only when the computer is turned on. You can read and write data on the temporary memory. If the power suddenly goes out, all the data stored on it is lost. So RAM is also known as volatile memory. ROM stands for read only memory. It stores programs and instructions which are required to run the programs. Programs stored on the ROM can only be read. ROM holds data permanently. You cannot write on the ROM. The information on ROM does not get wiped out when the computer is turned off. PROM, IPROM and EPROM are three different kinds of ROM. PROM stands for Programmable Read-Only Memory. The information that is recorded on this cannot be changed. EPROM stands for Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. The stored memory can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light. EPROM stands for Electrically Erasable Program Read-Only Memory. The information written on it can be erased by using electric signals. This memory type is more flexible than EPROM. Thank you for the information, Clico. But what is secondary memory? The place where information can be saved is called a secondary memory. It is also called auxiliary or external memory. CDs, DVDs, pen drives and hard disks are examples of secondary memory. I know that CD means compact disk. It can store and read data and program. That's right, Renny. And what are DVDs? DVD means digital versatile disc. It is flat and round and looks very similar to a CD. It can store more data than a CD. Correct. CDs and DVDs are known as optical discs. Let me tell you about the hard disk now. A hard disk can contain much more data than either a CD or DVD. The hard disk is placed inside the CPU box. Look, this is the hard disk. Its surface is coated with a magnetic metal. A small recording head is placed very near to each surface to read and write. The hard disk can store all data until they are erased. What about the pen drive? The pen drive is a pen-like device. It is attached outside the computer's CPU cabinet and on a USB port. A pen drive can also store large amount of data. A pen drive is the most convenient device to carry data from one place to another as we can put it in our pocket. There, now you know many things about data storage. Yes, thank you Kiko for your help.